what's up guys my name is uh, the gamer here and in today's video i'm gonna show you how to make a pretty cool looking thumbnail so like this one so on screen, right? yeah so now we're gonna make a file new and what you can do is basically wait, let me just make so go there for photoshop size oh my god that's just good pixels so now guys what you have to do is go to one two a zero by 720 because you don't need much quality there go on uh, background just make it transparent because that's what i prefer and then go to pixel aspect ratio go square pixels and just don't touch this it should be the same go on bit and change it to 64 bit don't worry about the file sizes because you don't need to, uh you don't need anything to do with it right now and then go on resolution and make it 72 because that's just how it goes that's a 16 by 9 resolution so now what you do is go i prefer you save the preset but uh i have it already saved and i remember it so just click ok so now as you can see it gives you a blank canvas so this is what we are going to be working on so first thing what i prefer is already making photographs and renaming them so first name it back so guys coming back now what we need is a background so as i told you uh, for this instance just for the sake of this video um i'm just gonna choose a random background but if you want a successful uh, background you have to choose it from the from your own video which will be really helpful because you can edit anything on it so i'm just gonna yeah i'm gonna make a gdf thumbnail but still keeping it but still keeping the background my own i don't know why but because i never played gd5 on this channel so just bear with me guys and just and you can mix and match things to make it as good as you want so now what you need to do is find uh, something I, i'm just gonna find a background and yeah this is my background so now what i like to do is go right click click uh, rasterize layer go filter and then go go to blur and add a lens blur so it will take some time to load and so go to this part over here and go and click at a hexagon and then go to around 40 wait a minute it's loaded as you can see 40 is pretty good um now you know you can change the brightness and stuff but i like it this way you know you can copy my setting down right now click ok as you can see it adds a uh, it adds a really really uh like a blurry effect which is the label now as i said i'm gonna be making a gd5 label so what you need to do is go on google and you know just search gda5 logo and then just go here and yeah uh, be sure to uh touch png but just go here and see when you click it it should be white over here and these checkered patterns should come in the bigger image if the chicken if the checkered patterns are right here that means it's not transparent it's just a mimic but if the checkered pattern is in this image and not uh, the smaller one that means it's a png and you'll get the gist of it as you go so now right click it um what i'm, what I'm gonna do is just right click it and open image in a new tab for the full resolution i'm gonna drag it out on my desktop so now all you have to do is go back in photoshop go here and place embed and now you can go to desktop you know search for it if you want you can go this this one as you can see it's here so now i'll just press this and now you can resize it if you want this will decide on so you can always fix it later so i'm just gonna place it as i want and i will see you in a bit so guys when you have a uh, place it as you want you need to drag it and drop it into the label done we're done with the label done with the background done with the label now we'll go on the text and the body so i'm just gonna make it a funny moments thingy right here so what you need to do is go on the text the don't uh worry about the color right now just go here and press uh funny and you know you can resize it a bit you know make it just a, a tad bit nicer looking we will just make it a tad bit nicer looking you'll just see okay i'll just select this funny uh moments and then i'm gonna go 
so continuing on uh now we're gonna make the te text look pretty and stuff so let's do it and i'm just gonna resize it a bit now I, uh now as you can see i've dragged and dropped it into the text and body menu now what you have to do is go blending options and then and what you can do is drop shadow and it's a pretty set of it you can copy my settings right here right now um yep so and then uh, what you have to do is go click on stroke and add a little bit of stroke like a five looks okay is it yes it looks okay and wait a minute we'll just fix the color right now so now what you need to do is click on the gradient and you can name it as uh, like and now you need to right click it and then this is the default gradient just click on this and click okay it looks pretty good as you can see and yeah so now we'll add another piece of text right here now we'll click on this and then we'll click on this and now what we will do is uh, center it around here and then increase the size uh, and then and then write moments so i think i'll just increase the size more just to do this right here and yeah so now i'll just go and right click it and then just center it right around here it is centered now we'll just add the same effects but this time around i will make a different gradient which will make it pop out more so go to drop shadow and add um a drop shadow stroke and then a gradient overlay now when you go to the gradient overlay go right click it click over here and go to a go to the uh, color you want but keep a color scheme between like the darker outside and a lighter inside so uh, if a, if a so if you're going with a blue so go with a like uh if you're going with a light blue just go with this wait a minute i'll just fix it just click over here because this is, uh, these are the web colors so for this you may need to uh, for this you may need to uh, like uh, turn off web colors and you know go a bit lighter on this side you know just go like this oh my god why just go towards this color it looks lighter just go okay and this will fix itself in the in the uh, when you uh, when you post it on YouTube, so don't worry about the web colors right now. So now you can also go on the dark colors and just make it a tad bit darker, which will give the effect. Just go, go a little more darker, and then copy, and then I'll just go paste. There you go. So now uh, I'm gonna click OK and uh, our new gradient is has been made. So now uh, you can also reduce the scale of this. Um, so this is what the scale does. Um, let's bring it down a bit so you know it covers all the areas. Let's do this and then you're done. So now you can just center the text around. You know, just play with it. There you have it. So as you can see it's centered around it's it's looking pretty fancy. So we are done with the text. Now we go to the extra elements. So now uh, what you can add in extra elements is some elements from GTA 5. So I prefer you take it from your own video but you can always go over here and go on. So what you can do right right now is you can just uh, go and repeat the things which I which I uh, taught you so now you can just place this in and you know funny moments so presenting uh, like a stunt jump or car or something so yeah and uh, to make it even more pop out so now what you can do is drag it into the extra elements and now you can go to blending options and add the basic stuff now you have got just of it so now you can do it basically and uh, yep so as you can see um, this looks pretty freaking amazing but now what you can do is also add some extra elements from the game if I go to Google Right, uh, Michael GDF5. So, 
for now we'll go for this one and we'll open it in a new tab and I'll drag it out, uh, drag and drop it outside so I just go here open this and drag and drop it outside drag and drop it outside yeah right here as you can see uh, and now I'll go and create another layer of this and then I'll place and I place another one. Uh, so now, why did I create a new layer? Otherwise, it will just mix the, these both layers, uh, and I couldn't, and I will not be able to, you know, place it around. But you can do that to make it easier for you. But I'll, I'm just showing you how to make it more interesting. So yeah, now you can click like this and make it a bit more fills up a bit. You know, if uh, if you know what I mean. So just and now what you can do is you know play around with the text and now you can uh, fix it up if you want so now what you can do is just add all this stuff so guys now is the time when you fix it all up the final touches and stuff so now what you can do is play with the text around so now you can just go around here click on moments you know drag it a bit right here and you know make it a bit crazy you know just a bit like you no know, like now you can just you know make it swirl around a bit just stick do this and then make the final adjustments and then you're basically done uh, so yeah I know it, it it turned out to be a really really long video but yeah um so yeah this is how you make a thumbnail so now what you need to do is you can you know you can go and guys what i prefer doing is saving it as a png so you know you can go save as and then go into your videos folder and you know save it save it as a psd and then when you need to export it you can go here and then save it as a png on your desktop and save it on my desktop another one so copy the settings and then just press ok and then it should be done pretty fast right now right about now is it done there you go it's done so now you can literally just close it out and please save it um i don't need to do anything i guess so yeah there we go it's done so now you all uh, so now you can delete this stuff and you can just delete it and now you have uh, a pretty huge size file 2.96 mb so number one thing you cannot upload um uh, more than two MB files. So now, if you go to the description down below, it will take you to a tiny PNG, and all you have to do is just put your file over here, like, and then it upload, and then you can just download it, uh, and it will reduce your file size by a lot. As you can see, um, I just show you a sample. So now, guys, uh, what you need to do is just download it, and uh, as you can see, it will show you the downloaded file. You can just yeah, so this is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed it, comment below what you think of this video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.